start without us. It's 9.30. Um, I'll call a commissioner's meeting for April 11th to order. And we have a very short um, agenda this morning. Uh, we want to get the minutes all straightened out this morning and then at 10 o'clock or shortly after 10 we'll open the bids for loan screening. I know we have at least five bids that have come in. They're sitting on Commissioner Kenny's desk. Hopefully when she gets here she'll bring them up. I'll open it up for any public comments. Yes. Yep. Came to my attention that there might have been. I made the comment about um, the Conway School Board decision with the sitting elected officials. You can't act outside your officials. Right. I thought I made it clear that it was geared towards all three of you guys and not towards one commissioner in particular. And I want to make sure that it is yeah. on record that, that that comment was geared towards all three of you yep. guys and it yep. wasn't geared towards anyone in particular. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, did you have a, a comment? No. 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 Okay. And your name? Eric Corbett. Eric Corbett. Okay. All right. Great. Yep. Yep. Uh, we're in public comments. Oh, we are. Yeah. Oh, good. A um, couple of questions. Yeah. Um, just off the top of my head. Is there like um, a county handbook for the employees within the county administration? I believe there is. If not, they're still working on it. HR would have that. And background checks are done on all county employees? Not necessarily. And why not? Uh, I think only if, it, if there's a question or in the type of position that they're filling. Um, we didn't do a background check on a recording secretary. But if it's in the jail or the sheriff's department, um, in, s in some positions in the nursing home. Well, uh, don't county employees handle sensitive information? I Certain would. ones do. And all those have been background checked? I'm pretty sure they have. Okay, good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, what you. about department heads? Are they doing a... It depends on the position as to whether they're going to be handling any kind of documents. Yeah. Okay. Melissa, we did get your request, and uh, uh, Kathy Gary is working on it. Some of it we can't divulge, like I think you were looking for the minutes of the 14th of February, I think it was. Uh, that deals, I believe, with uh, the grievance that is in process, uh, and we can't divulge anything regarding that grievance until it is completed and it hasn't been completed. We didn't think that might happen. It was filed the last week of December. Okay. And we're almost at the last week of April. I know. Um, we are at the last week of April? Almost. Yeah, I, almost. Know that. Yeah. I think it was filed in January. Yeah. I, I guess my understanding is we've had problems in getting a meeting with Commissioner Kenny um, with the attorneys or a, with the attorney and that hasn't come about. Um, I have suggested that we meet either Monday at 1 o'clock or Wednesday at 1 o'clock um, to see if we can't get this process done and completed okay. wherever it has to go after that. Um. But I don't know I don't know what the other two commissioners' schedules are. I'm, I suggested that to the attorney. Eric, filed two more requests. One was a list of things with Kathy, yep. Yep. and then one um, was on Monday. With Robin Reed, we filed a request for a meeting for the first time. Yeah. Yeah. What was that? Yeah. I think that pertains to the same one that you had on that list. Yeah. Yeah. It's my understanding that if an employee files a grievance, they have the option of making that information publicly available. Right. So I was looking for any documentation that precipitated the grievance. Was, was there anything in writing? Were there emails exchanged? What 
what brought on the grievance? That's what I'm looking for. Um, the grievance was submitted by an individual, and it was given to the three of us. Um, and as a result of that, we hired an attorney does to look into the grievance. Does that employee have their own attorney, or is that employee using No. It? Well, not that I know of. Okay. Um, so ultimately, would you agree it's up to the employee whether or not they want to release anything? It's yeah. up. It's up to the individual whether they want to have um, it public. Uh, and as of this date, uh, it was indicated to me that it wasn't going to go public okay. until after the final uh, investigation was completed. Okay. Now it's been completed, and well, not fully completed because the attorney wants to sit down with the three of us. And a complaint grievance, is that a personal issue? Yeah. So we're going to release no personal issues? Not employment no, no, no. managed? Not if it pertains to an elected official, it's not personnel information. The employee's name could be redacted from the record. They, released, uh, the employee could say that, would, that they would make it public, yeah. Okay. I think we need yeah. to make then all the... Uh, grievances or complaints uh, public pertains all the elected officials. I, I say that again. I think we should make that all public uh, pertaining elected officials. Pertaining if to elected there were officials. Grievances and complaints, if it is personal matters, grievances and complaints against all elected but officials. Then, yeah, if but there it's was not something in the sheriff's department. I, I bear in more commissioners. But it's not up to us, it's up to the person who grieved the, um, the issue as to whether they want to make it public or not. Oh, I don't know if about it was, that. If it was me against you, out. yes. If it was me against Commissioner Solomon, yes, it would be public. But in this case, it's an employee that's grieving it, and it's up to them to decide whether they want to make it public or not. And also... Um, I got an email from uh, Liz Bailey. She wants to meet. I think it is highly unusual if the two commissioners hired an investigator and then the report would given or a presentation made by another attorney. That's the one I just spoke about. Are you available either Monday at 1 o'clock or Wednesday at 1 o'clock? Like I said, next week? like I said, you hired the investigator attorney Swatch to do an investigation. He didn't come and he didn't deliver the report. It's highly unusual for somebody else to come here and to deliver a report. Did you get the email from Liz Bailey as to why this is coming about? Did she explain to you why? Why she's coming to deliver it? Right. It was in that, her. Yeah, but it is unusual. She can't well. explain whatever she wants. It's unusual. Oh, okay. If you hired a person to do the investigation, yeah. that person should come here and deliver that report. We had a jail investigation. Did, did, is somebody else coming up and giving the presentation? Or was it the guy who did the investigation in the jail? It's highly unusual. You're, you're correct. It is highly unusual. Yeah, so in this particular case, um, the person who did the report should if, deliver the report. If, if it goes any further, I mean, outside of our control, goes to court, he may be testifying and he doesn't want to. Um, it was explained to you in that email. I, I better not say any more than that, but um, in case it goes further, um, he may be called to testify as to the, what he has found. So, are you available Monday at 1 o'clock or Wednesday at 1 o'clock? I have to check my schedule. I will let Bailey okay. know when I'm available. Uh, well, all three of us have to be there, and I'm just trying to get a meeting so that all three of us can be, be there. Yeah, I will let her know, then I will email you. Uh, are you available Monday or Wednesday at 1 o'clock? Wednesday, I'll be available. Are you all here for delegation Monday? Delegation meeting in Monday morning, yeah. I just 
thought that and rather than us coming all back down here and getting mileage again, if we could do it on a Monday or a Wednesday, it would help out. Is there any particular time you can tell me when you're available? I'm okay for that. Like Monday. I said, mm -hmm. I'm going to spectacular spelling. Okay. When I'm a fail, I'm okay. Okay. I, I emailed Liz Bailey and suggested 1 o'clock Monday or 1 o'clock Wednesday. Yeah. And that well, I talk that about it this morning. You can go talk with her. And I will talk to her when I'm a fail. Uh, please be a little cooperative. All I'm trying to do is get a meeting together. So what do you mean cooperative? I've already been talking to Swatch. She didn't deliver the report. Every time you're doing something else, you're at the one. Who playing games? I'm not playing games. This is You're a, playing games from the beginning. This I brought, is serious business. I brought many things up. You never did anything to the employee. You show them All to me. All you do is cover up. You, sh you show them yeah, to me. No, it is already on an investigation. Okay. No, don't have to show it to you okay. now. Okay. I'm not the one being investigating. Investigated. Okay. Any further comment? Yes. I also had a right to know request around the same time as hers um, regarding uh, just a, a few minutes over the course of a few months. I was just wondering uh, how, how long that might take. Was yours, did yours include the, I want to say it was, I don't have, yes I do, wait a minute. It was September. Was it the October. September 14th? Correct. Okay, that's in cool. investigation, so okay. that won't be released. Okay. I'm not sure about the 21st. I think September 14th. Hmm? Investigation. I think we can release that. September, you said? September 14th, yeah. I think mine was September and October. Two months? Two months. Yeah. I think we can release those. I'm going to look at them. These are public minutes or non-public? Non-public. Non-public? Public minutes you can just read on a computer. Yeah. You have all the non-public minutes, right? Yeah. So okay. I think uh, uh, you just the whole month of September, or is it September 14 only? Uh, the whole month. So September and October. I think um, uh, I think we can release those. You just check to see. Uh, if yeah, I will check to see. Uh, Most likely, there are portions of those minutes that we can release. Perhaps not all of them. Remember when we went through those minutes, yeah. we said this could be released, but that couldn't be released, and so forth. Okay, I'm going to so check. So we just need to check those. Two months to not call it for release. Yes, ma'am. I just have a comment, and Kevin been a selectman for two terms now. Anytime we get a request for minutes, whether they're public or non-public, right. we let the person know, by law, we have five days yep. to get you them, unless they are non-public and they're not released. We do let that person know immediately, mm -hmm. within 24 hours, I'm sorry, yep. but those are non-public. I wish that the commissioners yep. would be that gracious to these reporters who are looking at these. It yep. shouldn't take yep. more than five days to figure this out. Yep. We actually did explain that these were non-public minutes. At the moment they handed in the request? Yes. And you, you um, got a phone call, right? Yeah, and I, I have an outstanding right to know that just says any and all public minutes from all of 2011 because I didn't want to try public? to argue about certain dates and Excuse times. me, public non minutes? Pu non public. Non public. Non so as, they're, as they become available, as issues are resolved, if names have to be taken mm -hmm. out, just so that the public is aware of as you can. I know yeah. that I have What's looked at I have looked at those public. minutes, made made my comments about what could be released and what should not be released. Mm -hmm. and further than that, and I don't know. And where did it go after that? I remember you I all gave, had, I gave them to Commissioner you Kenny. You all had a stack and yes. you were reviewing them. And, yep, and I did. did. That. Okay. Yep. And I so gave it to Commissioner Kenny and I don't know what's become of that. Yeah. So then it's up, is it up to the clerk to then decide what to release? Or were they going to the attorney or where? I, can you refresh my memory? Commissioner Kenny, maybe? Were you going to handle it? Uh, I'm going to take out uh, legal consultation. And there's uh, yeah, a lot of things in it shouldn't be in there. 
and uh, then I will release them. Do you have a timeline for that, just so we can? Um, I'm trying to release for a couple months next week. We have to know that we're not uh, releasing things for a whole year, so it is a whole year worth of minutes now. Uh, this year it is different. We already released a couple minutes from this year because I'm doing the minutes now, so they are accurate. Okay. Any further public comment? Yes. I just going back to the uh, the meeting upcoming with the attorney that you're trying to coordinate. If for some reason you're unable to coordinate a meeting altogether. Will it? Will the decision just be made if two of you meet, or we haven't gotten that? The, the request yeah. was that all three of us meet with the attorney okay. to discuss the um, as a board. And well, it's legal. It's a legal consulting. Um, so minutes wouldn't be taken. It's a legal client. Attorney uh, client. Yeah. Okay. So you'll wait until the three of you can meet, or will two of you move forward if one can't it's, meet? It's it's right time? now. It's up to Commissioner Kenny to check a schedule. Any further comments? Can I have your name for the record, Melissa Siemens? Thank you. Sorry, I didn't say that in the beginning. <laughs> um, are you still in public comment? Yes. I just. Um, I wanted to go back to last week, the decision on the IT contract and yep. how that, that was finally resolved. And I was wondering from each commissioner, um, looking back at the, at the overall situation and moving, looking ahead to contracts in the future, yep. um, what did you find? Did you, did you find anything wrong with the process? And if so, what would you do as a board to, to try to change it in the future? The only, the only thing that bothered me was we, a contract was running out the 1st of April, and we'd put the bids out a lot earlier. But keep in mind that we rebid it, so that put us, that delayed us closer to the April 1st deadline. If we had done it on the first bid, we would have been okay. Commissioner Solomon, did you have any? Only that I have found out recently that. Um, the bid was established by the IT committee using um, other counties' IT bids, and um, and and someone, you know, the people who are involved with IT in this in this um, county, and. I think that they did it in in the best of their to the best of their ability using the uh, using what they what were appropriate uh, procedures and what came out of it seems to have gotten out of hand in the past we were told that um, or it was at least implied by some that John Rich I believe is his name, mm -hmm. um, was the one who drafted the contract. So no. you're saying that that is not true? Not according was, to what I have learned. It was based on a template using yes. other counties? Yes. From my understanding, he he merely, um, he, he didn't have any part of, from my understanding, he did not have any part of the building of this um, I, uh, RFP. And would you agree that the, the, the former um, IT contract is public information so that anyone who wanted to bid or saw the advertisement could have asked for a copy of that contract in drafting their proposal for the new contract? When you say former, I'm not sure I understand that. Cybertron had the contract for, was it a year, three years? Oh, a year. A year. Yeah. So anyone from the public could have asked the business office for a copy of that contract. Oh, I imagine so. Yeah. Right. And then they yeah. could have seen what was previously done and compared it to what was expected newly and how much Cybertron was being paid in the past, and perhaps Seems use recent. that to... I can't imagine why not. ...formulate the proposal. I can't imagine why it couldn't have been. Um, if it's okay with the chair, can I ask Commissioner Go ahead. a question? Um, 
And, and basically the same question to you. I know you had concerns that there was only one bid that came in initially. Um, looking back at the process, um, would you have perhaps solicited bids from other agencies the first time around if you had to do it all over again? I think we need a uniform uh, policy. And I think everyone needs to get a fair chance. I don't think uh, it is fair if we have the person here consulting or whatever on the IT committee. Uh, he did an audit here. He know what we have. He know the systems. He know the servers. He did presentation here for the delegation and the commissioners. And we have other companies coming in and they actually need to guess on the RFP. There was never a date set that they can come in and uh, do a rough assessment what we have so they can write the appropriate bid or appropriate proposal. They never had a chance for a presentation. I think uh, it is wrong and uh, I think it is unfair. And you seemed pleased by the landscaping contract, how that all played out with the, the folks being able to come and present and to the committee and then that committee came and made their recommendation to you. So do you agree that that was handled the way you would have liked to see the IT contract handled? or? Yes, I think it was a better way. And uh, it was strange to me that we're talking about roughly $14,500. And that it can come in and get it to it and see everything. And we're talking about tax dollars over $300,000. And no company get a chance to come in. So I think there's something wrong. Will the commission as if, a board or Commissioner Kenny be working to draft a bidding policy? Do you feel that that's necessary based on the public and the commissioner input? Or? We've been working on a bidding policy, um, and I don't believe it shows in the minutes where it was approved, but I'd like to comment further on that plant uh, um, bid that went out. Uh, commissioner Kenny and I looked over those bids I forgot how many we had, 10, 12. 10 or 12 or so, and we selected uh, the four that we thought uh, could do the job. We gave that to the plant garden committee. Um, they decided they wanted to have them come in, not us, um, and so they did, and they asked those people questions, and from that they came to the commissioners with a bid, with a recommendation. Um, to select one of those um, companies. Thank you. I, the IT committee could have invited those people in for, for uh, a presentation if they wanted to. Yeah. You just said uh, it didn't show in the minutes the bidding process was not approved because it was not approved. That's why. Okay, I, that's what I'm saying. It was it's worked on. Approved. I'm not sure it was approved. Yeah. I'd just like to know how long Commissioner Sorison is a commissioner here in the county. Is it 16 how years? Or how long have I been here? Yeah, 12. 12 years. And what difference does that matter? I, I mean, uh, why, are we, why we don't have policies or a bidding policy? Why you never uh, put one up? Or even an employee handbook? It, uh, if you are so long here, I mean, you could uh, have these things in place. Yep. Yeah, at least we had a structure. You've been here a year. Yeah. Yeah. So. How, how long has... Uh, yeah, I think we've been here for 12 years. So I think we've only so had a uh, human resource person for, what, three, four years? Five years? Yeah. I don't know. I don't remember when she was hired. Could I just... Any one, further questions? One more follow-up. Go ahead. In your 12 years, has there ever been a bidding process or awarding of a contract that has been this... Um, Controversial? No. Tumultuous? No. <laughs> no. I, I don't remember any that was <coughs> controversial like this one was. So maybe this Except could... Except for the pellet boiler. Yeah. yeah. Pellet so boilers? Just yeah. the last two. Oh, then God. If we look at the last two. So it's... Um, okay. Yeah, that was with the delegation mostly, though. Different. Yeah. So when you draft this bidding policy, you're going to have to run it by the reps? No. 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 Okay, yeah. good. So when are we going to get that done? I thought it was... Don't we have... We need... We looked at it and we had some public comments that a couple of things were left out. For example, we're going to advertise in three papers. Um, 
and I forget what else is on that on that little list of policy for bidding. As long as we follow the RSAs, that's all that matters. If we do not follow the RSAs, and for example, anything over five thousand dollars has got to go out for bid, right? Unless all three commissioners agree that we accept one bid and then define why we accepted that one bid. Well, we have the same thing in OSIPI. Um, and uh, to change the subject briefly. Um, do, you, do you have a policy in OSIPI? Of course we do. Anything over 5000 unless we're happy with the person that we've always used for it, and then yeah. we justify that fact that yeah. the work yeah. is fabulous and we're very pleased with the outcome of the job. Yeah. Um, so we have the same policy. Okay, let me ask you, uh, this is off the wall again, um, Cybertron, where is that company based out of? What county? Belmont. Belmont? Yep. Is that a county? Belmont. Wherever Belmont is Belmont located. County? Belmont. Belknap Belknap County? Belknap County. Yep. Um, Mainstay is based in what county? Manchester. Um, Pardon? You know where they are? I think Manchester. Where are they from? She says Manchester. Manchester I don't know. I Manchester, uh, okay. No, I don't there wasn't any IT companies within the county we could have chose from? No. I'm just throwing that out that I'd like to keep county money within county. Yeah. No. Oh, okay. There, right. were, there were some companies, yeah. Conway has one. Mm. Yes, two actually. Okay. Okay, any further public comment? Wow. <clears throat> All right. Coming down to the hour when we open up bids, which uh, oh, Kenny has. But we'll wait till exactly after 10 o'clock so we don't get into any controversial things of opening the bids too early. Um, minutes. My records show that. Uh, school is this is is this a bit for the clients that belong? Let's go through the minutes. That comes after ten o'clock. Yeah, but I want to even see how many we get. Just let me see. My uh, my minutes show that the uh, March 14th minutes were approved on March 28th. Is that correct? March 14th. Um, probably. Yeah, I think it was approved. The minutes were approved yet at 40 with us correct, so she was going to just make a couple corrections. Can we, can so we, we have the April 4th now? No, can we, we go back to last week? Can we go back to February 27th? 22nd. February 27th. Yes, March 14th was approved on March 28th. Well, there were changes made and then I resent them just to show that they were changed. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. We're looking at February 22nd now. Mm -hmm. February 22nd? 20, February 22nd. Is that what you're looking at? I'm looking at, yeah, minutes of February 22nd. In there, the bidding process was discussed. Um, one that we advertised, the RFP, in a printed publication, at least, two, at least two newspapers, posted on the county website and at the lobby entrance, and if possible, mail RFP to qualified bidders. Also an appropriate list on the website of the Dodge report, and all bids to be open in public session. Correct. I don't see yeah, where it was discussed. approved, though. No, because it was not. 
we just discuss it what we're going to do. They were just ideas brought up. 